Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we will get started in Supta Baddha Konasana, or Reclined Bound Angle. So coming to lay down on your back, place the soles of your feet together and let your knees come apart, and take any arm variation that feels best for you. Start to come into your breathing, taking slow breaths in and out through your nose, maybe adding a slight pause to the top and bottom of each breath. Today we will be working into our hips, and we're going to get a little bit of movement towards the end with a sequence called the warrior dance. If you have an intention for your practice, feel free to bring that into your mind's eye now. Remembering that your intention can be anything that you're actively working on in your practice, whether it be your physical practice on the mat or your practice off of the mat. If you'd like to stay here a little bit longer, hit the pause button and hit play whenever you're ready. Otherwise, slowly draw your knees together and cross your right ankle over your left knee, creating a figure four. Grab behind your left leg and pull your left leg in. If this action creates a little bit of pressure on either of your knees, then flex both feet to stabilize your knees with your leg muscles. And if grabbing behind your left leg makes you round your back forward, then you can support your head with a block or a couple of blankets or a pillow. But we won't be here for too much longer, just a couple more breaths, as long as it's not putting too much strain on your neck. Go ahead and let go of your left leg. And we'll switch sides, crossing your left ankle over your right knee and grab behind your right leg. Pulling that right leg in, left knee draws away from you. Remember to flex both feet if it helps protect your knee joints and takes a little bit of pressure off of them. And then just breathe into wherever you feel the sensation the most. Beautiful, go ahead and let go of your legs. Uncross your feet to the floor. Walk your feet up as close to your bum as you can, knees pointing up to the sky and feet about hips distance apart. Take your hands down by your hips, press down into your hands and feet and lift your hips up for a glute bridge. Lift your hips up as high as you can. Think about engaging your glutes and hugging your inner thighs towards each other. Think about lengthening your tailbone towards the back of your knees. Hold for three. Two, one, and slowly lower your hips down to the floor. Again, inhale, press into your hands and feet, lift your hips up, glute bridge. Try to feel that your heels are not only pressing down into the floor, but are also dragging towards your shoulders to create a little bit of hamstring tension. And exhale, lower your hips down. One more time, press through your feet and hands, lift your hips up for bridge. If you would like to, you can interlace your fingers behind your low back and straighten your arms for a little bit of added extra shoulder sensation. For three, two, one, and release your hands if you have the clasp and lower your hips down. Now cross your right ankle over your left knee for figure four again. Flex your right foot and draw your right knee towards the floor. And you can either stay here or press into your left foot and lift your hips up for a one-legged bridge variation. Press strong through your left heel as you engage that left glute and feel your outer right thigh draw towards the floor for three, two, one. Lower your hips down if you lifted and then uncross your legs. Cross your left ankle over your right knee, flex your left foot, and then press through your right foot, lift your hips up for that one-legged bridge variation, and actively draw your left knee and outer thigh down towards the floor. You can also just keep your hips down on the ground if this takes too much pressure into your knees, but hold if you're lifting up for three, two, one, and slowly lower your hips, uncross your feet, draw both knees into your chest, give yourself a gentle hug, maybe a rock from left to right. Go ahead and rock up to a seat and make your way to tabletop pose. 
hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and we'll take a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, belly drops, lift your tail, lift your heart. Exhale, round through your back as you push into the pads of your fingers. Beautiful, take a few rounds on your own. Move at your own pace, and feel free to take any extra movement within this cat-cow. Whatever feels good for your hips, your shoulders, your neck. And after your next round, find a neutral spine. Press evenly into your hands. Now keep the shape of your right leg and take your right knee and shin out to the side, any amount. So you kind of look like a puppy going up to a fire hydrant, if you will. Hold here. Feel your outer glute and your outer hip. Lift that leg up for three, two, one. Softly lower your knee back down to the floor. Good. Again, inhale. Lift your leg out to the side. Flex your foot so that way the energy is through the entire leg. For three, two, one, slowly lower your knee down to the floor. One more time. Inhale, lift your leg out to the side. Stay with both hands on the ground or take your left arm out to the side in a half goalpost or half cactus. So you're mirroring the shape of your leg. Hold for three, two, one. Beautiful. Lower your hand and your knee down to the floor. Please step your right foot in between your hands at the front of your mat and scoot your right foot over. And then reach up to the sky, low crescent pose. Hands can also be on your hips or your front knee for this first lunge. Make sure that your front knee is stacked over your front heel. And as you anchor through your front heel and your back shin, feel your knee and your front heel scissor in towards each other to create a little bit more traction. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands down to the floor or hands to block. Straighten out your front leg and fold over it for half splits. Ardha Hatha Manasana. And then inhale, bend into your front knee. Back to low lunge, hands stay down. And then exhale, back to half splits. And just move back and forth a couple more times. You can think of it like a cat and cow for the back of your leg. For three, two, one. Beautiful. Next time you go into your lunge, plant your hands, step back to tabletop pose. And then keeping your left leg in the same shape, take your left knee out to the side for that fire hydrant bird dog. Press evenly into your hands. These are the same muscles that we worked in that figure four bridge. And lower your knee down to the floor. Again, inhale, lift your leg out to the side. Any amount, it doesn't have to be parallel to the floor as long as you're feeling that outer hip engage. And lower your knee. One more. Inhale, lift your leg out to the side. Stay here or take your right arm out to that half goal post position. For three, two, one. Gorgeous. Lower everything down. Step your left foot in between your hands. Find your low lunge. Hands up. Hands at your hips or hands on your front knee. And then find that traction, that scissor action of your legs. That'll engage your front hamstrings as well as get a little bit of an opening in your front right leg. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands down, floor or blocks. Find your half split, straighten your front leg and fold. And then move back and forth just a couple more times. For five, four, three, two, one. Next time you go into your lunge, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, look forward, and step or slide to the front into your first forward fold. And take a couple of moments here in your first forward fold. Feel free to bend your knees as much as you'd like. Clasp opposite elbows with your hands. Shake your head yes and no. Maybe let your body sway from left to right across your thighs. Try to press evenly into your feet, grounded into the earth. And then release your hands to the floor. Inhale, lengthen your spine to flat back. Hands can be at your shins or fingertips content on the floor. And then exhale, soften and bow. Press through your feet, reach all the way up to the sky, upward salute. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Have sun salutations. Inhale, reach up to the sky. 
Exhale, hinge from your waist and fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Bow as you exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up to the sky. Exhale, right arm down, left arm up and over for a side stretch. If you want to feel more into this, create a fist with both hands and imagine that you're trying to punch the ceiling and the floor with your arms. And then inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, left arm down, right arm up and over for that side stretch. Same thing. Think about punching the ceiling and the floor. Inhale, reach both arms up. Hands and fists, goal post your arms as your elbows draw back, lift your chest up. A little back bend if that feels okay. And exhale, fold forward over your legs. Halfway lift on the inhale, fold on the exhale. Please step your right foot to the back of your mat and set your right knee down. Reach up, low crescent pose, inhale. Palms forward, hands and fists, goal post your arms. Take your elbows a little bit further down for this goal post. So think about trying to reach the back of your waistline. That'll turn on your back muscles so you get that front chest sensation. Exhale, hands down, step back to tabletop pose, and then tuck your toes, hips up and back first, downward facing dog. So this is our first down dog, so just pedal out your legs, move your hips around, whatever feels good. Hands and feet can be in any distance, but press evenly into your hands. Imagine that you're trying to grip the mat rather than press flat into the mat. And then on your next inhale, shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up, shoulders over wrist. Knees can be down for half plank or legs can be straight, but try to reach through your heels as you push into the floor with your arms. Using your core, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. And then again, inhale forward to plank. Push into the floor as your upper arms hug in. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. One more time, inhale forward to plank. Again, knees up or down. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward. Lightly as you can, step your right foot in between your hands and lower your left knee down. Reach up to the sky, low crescent, inhale. Palms forward, hands and fists, goal post your arms. Take your elbows further down and back to open through your chest. Feel your lat and your rhomboid muscles engage here to find that chest opening. Exhale, hands down, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, look up, and step up to the front, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Fold, exhale. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. So reach your left hand forward, right arm back. And take your hands into fists, so like you're trying to punch an imaginary wall in front of your mat and an imaginary wall in the back of your mat. Use that punching, punching action to help you find a little bit more space through your chest area. And then inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the other side. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale, fold, exhale. Step your left foot to the back. Now keep your left knee up. Belly stays on top of your front thigh. Option one, you can keep your left fingertips tented on the floor and take your right hand to your hip. Chest stays parallel to the floor, or you can, reach bo you can take both hands to your hips for a power lunge. You can also do this with your arms reaching towards the back wall, or maybe reach your arms forward. Keep anchoring through that front heel. Try not to let your belly just rest on top of your thigh. Try to find a little bit of a lift. Good, soft bend in your back knee. Press through your front heel, rise up, high lunge. You can always take your bottom knee down for a low lunge. And then exhale, open arm twist to the right, left hand forward, right arm back. Again, try to think about reaching back and forth with your arms, lengthen through your spine. Option to reverse as you inhale, left arm up as you take a little bit of a tip back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, and please step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank pose, top of a push-up, knees up or down. Shift slightly forward, and then exhale, lower all the way down to your belly and your chest. 
Tops of your feet press down. Inhale, lift your chest, cobra. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, bow. Try to squeeze those back muscles like in our goal post arms. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, bow. Tuck your toes. Table or plank. Press up. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Lightly step your left foot in between your hands. Keep your back leg straight. Belly stays on top of your front thigh. Either left hand to your hip, right fingertips tense on the floor. Both hands to your hips or both arms reach back. Maybe if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, then both arms forward. Power lunge. Good. Soft bend in your back knee. Reach up. High lunge. Back knee can also be down for low lunge. Exhale. Open arm twist to the left. Try to reach through your fingertips here. Active arms, but soft shoulders. Option to reverse. Right arm up as you tip back. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor and step up into your forward fold. Inhale to flat back, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, upward salute, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, hands to your heart. First play with balance. So we're going to find tree pose. So standing on your right foot, left foot either on the inside of your right calf or thigh, just make sure there's no direct pressure on the side of your knee. And then let your knee come out to the side. So this finds the shape of tree, but let's find the action. So think about there's a wall behind you and your back is up against the wall, but you wanna get your left hip to be up against the wall as well. So thinking like our fire hydrant bird dogs, engage your outer left hip towards that imaginary wall behind you. Still press your left foot into your right leg, and then press strong for your right heel to engage your standing glute. For three, two, one, and slowly lower your left foot down to the floor. And then shift the weight into your left foot and find tree pose with your right foot on the inside of your left leg. Knee goes out to the side, but then find the action of pressing your outer right hip back to engage your thigh. You'll also feel some inner thigh sensation with that action. And if you fall out of the posture, just come right back in. And as a reminder, you can always do this up against the wall or have a chair by you for three, two, one. Slowly lower your right foot to the floor. Beautiful. Shake it out, and then with your feet hips distance apart, inhale, bend your knees, sit back into your imaginary chair. Arms can be up or hands can be at your heart. Think about sending your hips back in space as you hinge forward from your waist, and then try to get a little bit more of the weight into your heels. Hold for three, two, one, and exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale. Fold, exhale. Please step your right foot to the back of your mat. Spin your right heel down to a 45 degree angle, then reach up to the sky, warrior one. Chest is squared forward as your arms reach up, and then anchor through the outer edge of your back foot. Press through your back heel to engage your back glutes, and then draw your left hip back a little bit. You can even use the assistance of your front leg by dragging your front heel towards the back of your mat. Now, hips don't necessarily have to square in warrior one, but if you need a little bit more space and stability, then feel free to scoot your left foot over to the left a little bit. Stay for another breath in. And exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank pose. Inhale. Exhale, lower your right knee down. Pivot your right foot off to the side. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Supported side plank. Press through the entire sole of your left foot down into the floor and anchor through the pinky edge of your foot. Think about lifting your hips up as high as you can. And if you want more, reach to your left arm up and over. Palm faces down. Imagine you're trying to press towards the floor with that left hand. For three, two, one. Pass through plank or table on the inhale. 
Exhale, supported side plank to the other side, left knee down, right foot back. Your right arm reaches up or reach your right arm towards the front of the room. For three, two, one, plank or table on your inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Lift your right leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Stay here for three breaths or exhale, right knee to your chest. Inhale, up and back. Exhale to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale it up and back. Exhale to chest, pause as you squeeze your knee in, round your back to create more space. Best as you can, step heel first to the front. Back heel spins down, rise up, Virabhadrasana A. And you can create more space and stability by scooting your right foot over. Just remember to keep pressing through your back heel to engage your back glute. That back glute engagement is what helps you get that inner leg sensation of your back leg. Two, one, take another breath in, grow a little taller. And exhale, hands to the mat and step up to the front into your fold. Bend your knees, reach up, chair pose. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Palms can face out or hands can be in fists. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, twist to the left. One more, both sides. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, reach up. Maybe sit your hips just a little bit lower. Hug your inner thighs in. And exhale, fold. Halfway on the inhale, fold, exhale. Please step your left foot to the back. Left heel spins down, reach up, warrior one. Now hinge forward from your waist till your belly is just above your front thigh for that power lunge with your back heel down. Right forearm to the middle of your right thigh. Keep reaching through your left fingertips and then push into your right forearm to twist your chest to the left, extended side angle. Same shape as we did in our supported side plank. Press through the pinky edge of your back foot and reach out through your left fingertips. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Right hand goes all the way up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank pose on the inhale. Knees up or down, lower all the way to the floor. Inhale, cobra, or you can go into upward facing dog with your knees and thighs lifted. And then exhale, make your way back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in there. Exhale it out. Lift your left leg high to the sky. Stay here for three breaths or exhale left knee to your chest. Inhale it up and back. Exhale to chest. One more, up and back, inhale. Chest, exhale, pause and squeeze. Try to round your back a little bit more. And then step heel first to the front, back heel spins down, rise up, Virabhadrasana. Exhale, hinge forward, keep reaching your arms forward as you press through your back foot. Left forearm to the middle of your left thigh, push down from your left thigh and twist your chest to the right, extended side angle. Try to find that big side body sensation, slight tension in your left ribs to lift up through your right ribs. Inhale, reverse your warrior, left hand all the way up and back. Exhale, hands to the mat and step up into your forward folds. Last round of chair pose, bend your knees, sit back, reach up on the inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart and then prayer twist to the right, left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. You can also stick with the open arm twist if that's less strenuous on your back and your spine. But if you have that prayer twist, think about your elbow more as an anchoring point, not so much as a leverage to crank you into the twist. Think about drawing your right hip back as your chest reaches forward, almost like you're trying to do a back bend. For three, stay even through your heels, two, one, untwist, inhale, exhale, prayer, or open arm twist to the left. Again, the idea is to not crank into the twist, but rather think lengthening through your spine to find the twist. For three, 
two, one, untwist, stand up tall, reach up, and exhale, hands to your heart. Beautiful, everybody. So let's find tree pose again with your right foot standing and left foot on the inside of your left leg. But then take your arms out to a T with your palms facing down. Reaching out through your fingertips, much like the punching action that I've been cueing out throughout class. And then feel your palms press down into the air to activate your arms. Try to do this all the while keeping your shoulders soft. And then still feel that outer left hip engagement to get the left inner thigh sensation. Hold for three, two, one. Arms down by your side and then left foot to the floor. And then find tree pose with your left foot standing. Outer right hip firms when you find the shape of your right leg. And then take your arms out to the T. Reach out through your fingertips, palms pressed down. This is your prep for the upper body and your legs in warrior two. Hold for three, keep your breath going. Two, again, if you fall out, just come right back in. One, and hands by your sides, feet to the floor, nice job. Hands to your hips. Take a big step of your left foot to the back of your mat and turn to face the left side. Parallel your feet, lift your chest up on the inhale. Exhale, dive down, wide-legged forward fold. Tent your fingers or hands on blocks, lift your chest up halfway. Right hand to your right hip and twist your chest to the right. You can have a soft bend in your knees here, but press through the pinky edges of your feet as if you were trying to rip your mat apart. And like in our chair twist, think about drawing your right hip back as your chest reaches forward. Try to find more length through both sides of your body, more so than just twisting. Two, one, and exhale, hands down, fold. Find your flat back, hands on the floor or blocks. Left hand to your left hip and twist your chest to the left. Same thing, knees can be soft, but press through the pinky edges of your feet. Lift your chest forward as your hip goes back. Two, one, hands down and fold. Hands to your hips, press through your heels, rise up. Take your arms to a T, turn your right foot forward and bend into your right knee, warrior two. So taking everything that we did in our tree pose, firm your outer right hip back to get the inner leg sensation, and then press through the back edge of your back foot as well as your heel to engage your glutes. Reach out through your fingertips, palms press into the air. Just two more breaths, stay strong. Good, flip your front palm, lean slightly forward, take it up and back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor, step back to plank pose on the inhale. Knees can lower down first, lower all the way down to your belly and your chest. From here, take your arms out to a T with your palms facing down, and then press into your legs, your hips, your chest, and your forehead and lift just your arms. So try to reach as far through your fingertips as you can to widen your chest, and then lift your arms to squeeze your back muscles and feel your shoulder blades squeeze back. For three, two, one. Lower your palms to the floor, press them down like you're trying to create a dent. Press from your legs and your feet, lift your chest and your arms little variation of half locust. Reach through your fingertips, and even though your palms are in the air, try to press into the air as if you were using that to help you lift a little higher. For three, two, one. Lower it down. One more half locust. This time, arms down by your sides, palms facing up. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, press from your legs and your feet. Reach through your fingertips for three, Two, 
One, lower down, hands by your ribs, tuck your toes, plank or table on the inhale, down dog, exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, inhale, walk, step or float to the front, exhale. Halfway as you breathe in, fold, breath out. Inhale, reach up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to your heart. Hands to your hips. Take a big step of your right foot to the back of your mat and turn to face the right long edge. Feet parallel. Either hand stay on your hips or interlace your fingers behind your low back and roll your shoulders back. And then exhale, fold forward with or without that bind. Prasarita A or C. Take another inhale. If you have the bind, let it go, hands to the floor. Now turn your toes out and heels in, and then bend into your right knee for a side squat, and then move to your left side and just go back and forth from Skandasana to Skandasana. Your hips can be high, your hips can be low, and feel free to move as freely as you like. It doesn't have to be fast. And also feel free to play around with the feet position. Your feet don't have to stay flat the entire time. You can lift your heels, lift your toes, whatever works best. Just exploring your hips a little bit. Three, two, one. Good. Back to center. Parallel your feet again. Hands to your hips. Rise up. Arms to a T. Turn your left foot to the front. And then bend into your left knee. Warrior two. Virabhadrasana B. Find that engagement of your outer left hip, strong for your right foot like it would be the standing leg in tree pose. Nice active arms. Three breaths here. Beautiful. Flip your front palm, lean slightly forward. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank pose on the inhale. Lower all the way down, exhale. Last two back bends, hands by your sides, palms face up. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. This time, add your legs, Shalabhasana, locust pose. Squeeze all your back muscles, squeeze your glutes and lower everything down. Take a deep breath in and out. Stay with your arms by your sides or interlace your fingers behind your low back and then roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, lift your legs, Shalabhasana, A or B. For three, two, one. Exhale, lower everything down, nice job. Hands by your ribs, tuck your toes, press up to plank pose, knees up or down, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, and exhale. If you need to lower down to your knees for a child's pose, I invite you to do so. Maybe hit the pause button and take a couple of breaths. And then when you're ready, from down dog, bend your knees, look forward. Walk, step, or float, halfway lift at the top, inhale, fold, exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up, exhale, hands to your heart. Beautiful, everybody. Putting everything together now, we're going to move through a sequence called the warrior dance. We'll do it twice on both sides. First round, we're going to hold the postures just for a couple of breaths. And in the second round on both sides, we'll do it one breath, one movement. So hands down by your sides, palms face forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. And then inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, hinge and fold in half. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale, step your right foot to the back, right heel spins down, reach up, warrior one. Shoulders square, press strong through your back heel. And then exhale, open into warrior two. Arms to a T, outer left hip firms back. Flip your front palm, lean slightly forward. Inhale, reverse. 
exhale, left forearm to left thigh, either right arm can reach up or right arm can reach up and over, extended side angle. And then inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat, and then step back up to the front into a fold. Halfway lift on the inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Step your left foot back. Left heel spins down. Reach up, warrior one. Breath in. Settle into your exhale. Exhale, open it up into warrior two. Outer right hip firms, left foot strong. Flip your front palm, lean slightly forward. Take it up and back, reverse. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle or regular side angle. So left arm up or left arm reaches up and over. Think side stretch. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands and step up to the front and fold. Halfway on the inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Last round on both sides. One breath, one movement. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway. Fold, exhale, step your right foot back, right heel down, reach up, warrior one, breath in. Exhale, open it up into warrior two. Flip and reverse on the inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, any variation with your other arm. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel your hands, step up into your folds. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up, maybe a back bend. Exhale, hands to your hearts. Last side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold, left foot steps back, rise up, warrior one, inhale. Open it up, warrior two, exhale. Flip and reverse, breath in. Exhale, extended side angle, your variation. Inhale, reverse your warrior, maybe a little bit of a deeper bend in your front knee. Exhale, hands cartwheel down, step up to the front into your fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Well done, my friends. Take your hands down by your sides and just stand up nice and tall here in Mountain Pose, Tadasana. Maybe close your eyes down. And just notice your breath. Notice the internal landscape of your body. Maybe bring to mind that intention that you set at the beginning of the class. Maybe just give yourself some gratitude for showing up for yourself today. Maybe some of this class was challenging for you, but you made it to the end. You're standing up tall. You are a warrior. Take another breath in and out. Last time, inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, upward salute. Exhale, slow dive down into your forward fold. Inhale, flat back, shine your heart. Exhale, bow, plant your hands, step back to downward facing dog. You can stay in down dog for a couple of breaths, maybe lower to a child's pose. Or if it's in your practice, shift forward to plank and move through a vinyasa if it is safely within your practice. And then you'll meet in downward facing dog. From down dog or child's pose, you'll make your way to tabletop, hands and knees. And then shift onto your hips, swinging your legs around, coming into a seat. Move the flesh away from your sits bones, maybe sit on top of a blanket, pillow, or block. Draw your right knee into your chest and step your right foot to the outside of your left leg. Take a deep breath in to lengthen. Exhale, twist your upper body to the right. You can either hug your right knee with your left arm Hook your left elbow to your right thigh, 
And if you want a little bit more, grab the pinky edge of your right foot with your left hand and then straighten out your right leg as you lift your right leg above the ground for a seated revolved triangle variation. Right hand can be on the floor behind you. You can tent your fingers or use a block. If you're taking that seated revolved triangle, maybe even reach your right arm towards the back wall. And then go ahead and release your foot if you have it, untwist. And then switch up your legs, left knee in, left foot steps to the outside of your right leg. Twist to the left, either hug your left knee with your right arm, hook your right elbow to your left thigh, or grab the pinky edge of your left foot and take that seated revolve triangle. Left hand can be down or left arm can reach towards the back wall to find a little bit of balance if you're taking the seated revolve triangle variation. Think lengthening through your spine on the inhale and then softening to deep the twist on the exhale. If you have your foot, let it go and untwist. Extend both legs long out in front of you. Give them a little shimmy and shake. Dance out the tension. And then bend your knees and make your way down onto your back. From your back, draw, take your arms out to a T, draw both knees into your chest, and then legs together, let them fall off to the right for a reclining twist. You can also take a variation called twisted roots with your right thigh crossing over your left thigh and then letting your legs fall to the right. That'll get a little bit more into your outer left hip for that variation. And just lightly press your left chest down into the floor. Maybe look towards your left hand to deepen the twist. Beautiful. Go ahead and draw your knees back to center. If you have that cross leg variation, go ahead and switch so your left thigh is crossed over your right thigh. And then legs fall off to the left side as you turn your chest slightly to the right. Right chest pressing down. Maybe look towards your right hand if it's okay for your neck. And just breathe. On your next inhale, draw your knees back to center. Uncross your legs. Give yourself one last final hug. If you'd like to take a happy baby here, maybe a bridge pose, or if you have an inversion in your practice, simple inversion would just be to keep your hips on the ground and extend your legs straight up to the sky for a waterfall. And then whenever you're ready, you'll make your way to your final pose of ease and stillness. Set up for Shavasana however you like. You can be in a traditional Shavasana with legs extended, arms by your sides. You can take Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together with your knees apart like we started class. You can have your feet down with your knees bent, pointing up. You can even come to lay down on one side or maybe even come to a seated meditation. But once you find your final shape, just allow yourself to completely soften and settle. Allow yourself to let go of your breath control. And just for the next few moments of your day, just rest effortlessly.
as always, if you would like to rest a little bit longer, then I invite you to hit the pause button and take an extended Shavasana for as long as you'd like and hit play whenever you're ready. Otherwise, take a deeper breath back into your body. Invite some gentle movement back in, maybe starting at your fingers and toes and just letting it organically radiate through the rest of your being. And draw your knees into your chest, roll to the right side of your body, taking pressure away from your heart. And then use your top hand to press yourself up to find a seat, face the front of the room. Sit up nice and tall, draw your hands at heart center. Close your eyes down and bow your chin towards yourself, acknowledging your effort, your energy, giving yourself gratitude for showing up for yourself today. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with love and gratitude. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone, today. If you enjoy this video, then I invite you to hit the like button, leave a comment, and share this video with any friends that could use some yoga in their life. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye.